what's it like to perform 500 weddings for people you've never met? And the reason you've never met them is because they aren't at their weddings. I'm Ali, that's Deb, and we're gonna get married. Only, not really. I, Deborah, will stand in as a proxy for somebody I've never met. I will also stand in as a proxy for somebody I've never met. Proxies? <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> There's only one place in the world where you can get married by double proxy. Two people can be you and get married for you, and that's the beautiful Flathead Valley in Montana, right outside Glacier National Park. Already a major wedding destination. There's two types of wedding industry in Montana at the moment. The one is the big barn wedding, and the other involves none of these things because neither you nor your spouse are actually there. There's something of like a cottage industry for proxy marriages here. And by cottage industry, we mean Tom, living out in the woods with a couple hobbies. Good babies. Deer feeder. Come on, girls. Dog lover. Kids, you stay. Antique collector. Retired firefighter. And now, successful proxy marriage business owner. Armed Forces Proxy Marriages, may I help you? Montana's got this great law that's been here since the 1860s, and it allows for us to marry Armed Forces personnel by proxy. All right, Jason, you're in Germany now? They can be anywhere in the world and marry anyone in the world. So if you do get that stuff to me by the weekend and you make your payment by Monday, you'll be married by Thursday or Friday. It's a very obscure law here in Montana, but it's here for our military. All right, thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, we appreciate your service, buddy. Thank you so much. No problem. Bye-bye. All right, why does this even exist? America's military is spread out over 800 bases in over 70 countries. According to research by Dr. Jennifer Lundqvist, America's military basically operates like a social welfare state with tons of benefits for married couples, from housing to health care. And so, double proxy marriage is super handy if you are on duty away from your fiancé. Our average clients are probably about, let's just say, 20 years old. I got married by proxy when I was 21. I was 18. The military actually helped pay to move her. It's really lengthy, the assistance that you get. Being in the military, if I would have gone back home and he was here, I mean, it would be really hard to raise a child like that. I joke that we got married in Montana and I've never been there. Neither of us have. <laughs> you've fallen in love with someone, you're about to go away from someone for two years. Well, if you marry them now, they can perhaps go with you through command sponsorship. Without us, they can't do it. You can't get married that easily in a foreign country if you're not a citizen there. We thought that by coming to Montana, we might be able to give the couples who are getting married in this way a chance to see behind the scenes of this obscure law and meet the people who perform hundreds of empty weddings a year with only framed pictures, dogs, and deer in attendance. First, we went to consult an expert Say hi, horses. of the proxy stand-in. I've probably done hundreds of proxy marriages. Tom will call and he'll say, oh, we have some marriages to do. It's pretty simple considering what we're doing. It's a really easy way to give back um, to our servicemen and women and um, to stand in and just say, be the voice because they can't be present with their loved one because they can't be together because they're serving our country. So how does this proxy thing even work? I find out where they are. Germany, Italy, Great Britain, South Korea, Japan, Philippines, Estonia, South America, New Zealand, Australia, Mexico, stateside, doesn't matter. Wherever they are, we, we've then figured out. Our fee for proxy marriage is $750. We handle everything else from that point. We'll have you married within five business days. We have come together. I will. I will. See you later. Bye. So, yeah, we did it. We were proxies. So naturally, we went to go take wedding photos. Actually, we did more than one wedding. I will. I will. It was really simple. But we had one last question. And the two shall become one flesh. Why even bother doing a ceremony? Legally, I can just sign the documents. No big deal, but they're getting something. You know, and it's more personal for me. Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health? We have time for this. I've been retired for years. 
We love doing it. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no man separate. By the power of it. We had some people call and say, you're not going to tell my parents, are you? No, we can't do that. You know, this is between you, you know, your, your spouse-to-be, and us in the great state of Montana.